some drugs of choice could be codeine, metformin, morphine. Well, actually for me, it's never been a choice. It's been a matter of life or death. Imagine, you're a 10 year old kid, more concerned with playgrounds and TV shows and suddenly being told, hey, by the way, your pancreas has decided to go on a permanent vacation. Whoops. To say it was a tough pill to swallow would be an understatement. Although technically it'd be more of a tough needle to inject. My diagnosis came quite abruptly. One day I was a seemingly healthy child and the next I was going into a coma facing a life-threatening condition. With my faint memories of being rushed into hospital as doctors and nurses worked frantically to stabilize me, the feelings of confusion and an overwhelming sense of helplessness is something I never wish on anybody. I wish I could tell all of you that even in the beginning, despite the diabetes, I was able to inject joy back into my life. But if I'm being honest, it had turned me into a shell of the person I once was. With my new norm, I had so much convinced all the people around me that I hadn't developed serious eating issues from constant counting of carbs that quickly turned into counting of calories or that my already nervous and slightly nervous self had fully blown into a restless, stomach achy, anxiety ridden overthinker. I think that looking back, I've had the growth to finally give myself the ability to talk about this particular period of my life. The subjects I've just mentioned are things I haven't even admitted truthfully to my parents, family, friends, or even the expensive healthcare professionals I've had access to. Unfortunately, if you know me, for as long as I can remember, I've cultivated the art of hyperindependency. Getting type 1 diabetes was no different, much to everyone's dismay. I charted the highs and lows of the glucose seas on my own solo escapade. Um, sorry, whether I was almost passing out with glucose levels of two, or the really the worst of arms during a maths class showing levels of 23. Don't ask. But it wasn't long before my consequences would come. It turns out taking on a chronic illness on my own was the stupidest idea I have ever come up with. I learned quickly that there are things that there oh, that there are parts of life that not even fully grown adults can do by themselves, let alone comprehend. So, amid the beeping monitors and the sterile hospital smells that I can't confirm you'll never quite get used to, I had my first brush with the concept of death. It's a heavy concept for anyone to grapple with, let alone a ten year old girl. I can remember waking up from what felt like a very long sleep, unable to move, unable to comprehend where I was or what had happened to me, unable to make out the unfamiliar whispers of the doctors and nurses. After briefly mistaking the white floors, white walls, white fluorescent lights, for what seemed like an interesting waiting room in heaven, but it was there in that ICU room filled with children to babies experiencing much worse than me that I pondered the fragility of life and realizing in my own childlike way that our time here isn't guaranteed. Processing these thoughts felt like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. Death felt like a shadowy figure looming in the background, and understanding it required a maturity that even after seven years, I'm still developing. But slowly and surely, with the support of my loved ones, I've never had to be on this journey alone, um, even against my previous judgment. I learned that while death is an inevitable part of life, it's also a powerful motivator to live fully and fearlessly. Now, don't get me wrong, adjusting to life with diabetes still and was far from easy. There are days where I feel like a human pincushion and the constant blood sugar monitoring felt more like a video game I never wanted to play. But through this, I discovered the power of human resilience. Human resilience is a remarkable thing. It's what's got me pushing forward on days when all I wanna do is give up. It's what taught me to find strength and vulnerability and see every obstacle as an opportunity for growth. I learned to adapt, to persevere, and to see every obstacle as an opportunity for growth. Uh, uh, this experience has profoundly shaped me into who I am today. It's instilled in me a deep sense of empathy and a drive to make the most out of every day. After all, when you face the possibility of not having a tomorrow, you learn to appreciate the gift of today. In many ways, my diabetes has been both a curse and a blessing. It's been a relentless teacher, constantly reminding me of my own strength and, it, and the importance of taking care of my health, whether I like it or not. It's also given me a unique perspective on life and an unwavering determination to strive for my dreams. I've learned to find humor, even in the darkest of times, like the times my friends tell me I'm part robot because of my insulin pump, or when I joke that my pancreas was just too lazy to do its job. 
These hard, hard moments have been crucial in keeping me positive and helping me cope. But to make one thing clear, I refuse to let diabetes define me. While it is a part of my life, it does not encompass my entire identity. Just like many of you, I'm a friend, a sibling, a student, a daughter, and so many things beyond a diagnosis. I have passions and dreams that stretch far beyond the boundaries of my condition and I work every day to ensure that my diabetes is just a small part of a much larger, richer tapestry. I am so much more than my sickness. This taught me invaluable lessons and it shaped me in significant ways, but it does not limit my potential or dictate my future. My journey has empowered me to break free from the constraints of my illness and pursue a life of joy and passion and possibility. By embracing all aspects of ourselves and striving for greatness in every endeavor, I am to show that our circumstances do not define us, our strength, resilience, and determination do. The future of diabetes holds many uncertainties for me. I don't know exactly how my life will unfold or what challenges lie ahead. However, what I do know is that I am committed to living a life filled with light, love, and happiness, regardless of its length. Each day is a gift, and I intend to embrace it fully, cherishing the moments that bring me joy and striving to make a positive impact on those around me. My focus is on creating a life of meaningful experiences and connections, ensuring that no matter what happens, I live with passion and purpose. So here I am standing before you today, not just as a survivor or some pity party, but as someone who has been profoundly transformed by their experiences. My journey of diabetes has taught me the value of resilience, the importance of cherishing every day, and the incredible strength of the human spirit. I strive every day to live with purpose and passion because I know how precious life is now. I chase my dreams with a fervor that only someone who has faced their own morality can truly understand. And I hope that my story inspires you to embrace your own challenges, find your inner strength, and live each day to the fullest. Thank you.